that's a wrap for the birds building the birds office building we're getting we're on our way out so awesome awesome reenactment moving on to the next space yeah well i don't know if it was really good because i don't know fuck about shit <laughs> shit about fuck about shit. No. Yeah, shit about fun. Oh. So across the hall from the Bird Enterprise uh, decal on the door, this leads again. This leads to the Bird office. There's this Kansas City Police Department, the seal of Kansas City, right there. I don't recall them doing any uh, police uh, filming here, but this could have been something they shot or they put it here and they shot. It uh, just never made it, but I could be wrong. There could be scenes where um, the actual Kansas City Police Department was filmed. They would have they would have shot in here. So anyway, bird offices out. Let's move it to the next location. Go! Get that fucking car. Okay, so this by far was the most difficult location to find. We are way out in Cedartown, way west of Atlanta, Cedartown, Georgia. This was the location of Amy's Roadside Market, which is the market that Ben and Wendy pull up. And they had this all set up to be a, a fictional farmer's market. Wendy's van was right parked about right here. And there was a bench and... Um, Ben calls Helen, and that was kind of like one of the last nails in the coffin before Ben. Uh, and we know what happens to him, right? So you can see this pole. The cameras are on that side shooting that way. And you can see this pole and um, Wendy's van parked here. They have that moment where they're, they're consoling each other. And it's a really, it's a fantastic scene with the, by, in performance by actor Tom Pelfrey. This is your best reference here is this building you can see this building in the shot it's clearly the building the sign that held the amy's roadside market sign the pole for it is it's been broken it's been snapped off here you can see that pole so the pole stood pole stood up here and it held that sign, which in real life, this sign was was on there, and that's that's fallen off since. But the shot is from here, like kind of like this, like that, and you can imagine the roadside market sign being to the left of that light electric pole and the van is parked see there's our rental the van is parked on the other side of the chain link fence and there it is so that's it for this location <laughs> where can I take you where you could just be and be okay then we can, we can get Ruth to you, and we can fix this. We can, honey, honey. You gotta help me. <laughs> Next stop, also in Norcross. Norcross is Ozark Country. We have about five more spots in Norcross. This stop is JR's Country Breakfast and Pit Cooked Barbecue. This is where Wendy leaves Ben after they dine in. Probably right out there on that, that window. It's Ben's Last Supper. That's how I refer to it. It's Ben's Last Supper. She leaves him here. And, uh... Nelson pulls in from that end. I think he pulls like right here. It could be the other way around. I don't remember which, which side, but uh, we're gonna try to get some food here. 
and uh, see what we can see inside. Hey, appreciate it. Ben's last so meal. Ben's last meal. That's it. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Commemorated. That's so awesome. Thank you so much. I love how they embrace it, man. It's so cool. Ben's last meal, right here. Boom. We're gonna order some food and get some photos. And here's the food. JR's barbecue brisket sandwich. But these are good. And this is the table. Having lunch at Ben and Wendy's table. I'm pancakes for dinner reminds me of the house on fire pink roads. spot Norcross and it's a big one. It's a very emotional location. It's a very emotional scene that happened down here and it's where Wendy has just left her brother at JR. So we just left. She pulls down this road. This is Crescent Drive in Norcross. She pulls right into the spot and breaks down. She gets on the phone with Marty. And Marty's doing his best to, you know, to calm her down, to calm her down, and she's frantic. And it's just an amazing scene, very moving, very emotional. And Laura Linney kills it. I thought that scene right there would have been enough for her to win an Emmy, but this is where she parked, right here. I mean, she might have been a little further back in right here, but we're actually going to we're going to recreate some scenes here. But how you know this is it? is you can actually see her when she pulls in the wide shot of the road you can see these signs and then when the uh, in the inside shots of her within the car you can actually see those signs beyond her shoulder the other tail and this is at night those triangles across the freeway that is two three stores those three they're lit up in blue lights and you can see that in the background but the other I guess if that if that isn't enough the main tell is when she pulls up this white plastic piece is still there it's sticking out of the ground it's still there today so this is where it happened right there right there where Mary is there's Mary, the brunette, Wendy. What do you think? I want to cry. So we're about to do the Wendy reenactment scene from episode 9, season 3, Fire Pink. Mary's in the car prepping. She's getting ready. She's getting into character. As you can see, she's... Where are you exactly? 
Uh, I'm out in front of a, a dollar store in a, in a mini mall corner of Hawk Nest and Parkway. Okay, yeah, still in Norcross. We're doing it. This is a very quick one. This is the Dollar General that Marty, I think he comes out of that door. He's in the parking lot here. I think he's coming to his car. He's parked around here and he turns around because he sees something over here and it's one of the cartel vehicles watching him. We're just making sure that he's on track, you know, he's not fooling around and uh, do what he's got to do. This is it. It's literally a Donald General in Norcross, Georgia. We're not going to go in. I don't think there's anything shot inside. If there is, I'm forgetting and I'm going to miss it because we have a lot more to go in Norcross. So, no one that's it. The shit. Also in Norcross at Best Friends Park, this is where they held the Snell's Farmer's Market. This entire lot here. And the, the biggest tell for that is the swing set in the background. So the, the tent would have been right in this area. And I'll bring in this I'll bring in this screenshot. You can see behind that swing set. Right there. So this is where Wendy approaches Darlene. She she has she she's working to get Darlene to hit her because she's trying to Yeah, because she wanted to try to get the kid away from her and the fact that she hit her she could maybe prove she was Did she, she get arrested though? Yeah, and there was yeah. Like a Trial they they trial question her, like they take her to the station and question her. Right. They end up giving the baby to her because they they had they were in a situation where they had to do that. So yeah, there you go. They, she was she was trying to keep Zeke away from Darlene, and she needed to prove that uh, Darlene was not fit to be a mom. What? So <laughs> well, here's the scene. Do it. I think we that the child deserves better than a, than a farm stand and a redneck for a mama. <laughs> this is it. This is where it happened. We're all right here. We're going to do some photos. Right? Damn straight. Let's get to it. Desperate for honey, Mrs. Bird. Now what can I do for you? I have a proposition for you. I ain't interested in none of your proposition. Jacob would take the deal. Don't you ever utter his name to me again. Now, why don't we just all just calm no, down? No, no, no. I think we can all agree that the baby deserves better than a farm stand and a redneck for a mama. <laughs> That'll do it. Hmm, I'm gonna move for some R and R. I think I want someone to wind down and kick back and you know get some good views. What do you think, Bill? I think it's a great idea. Let's move it. Lickety split. <laughs> also in Norcross, this was the structure used for lickety splits. been a while since I've used it obviously I mean this there you've got weeds growing out of the parking lot looks like something right out of the walking dead almost yeah the canopy attached there I guess yeah canopy you can call it that they had that scene with uh Petty and Ruth right here and he goes, you see, he goes, don't be too, don't be too obvious, but right over there in your left shoulder, that's the cartel. Look over your shoulder, one o'clock. So that's the cartel. And now guess what? They think we're friends. Hey. 
She's an entitled piece of shit is all. You can also see that in the background from one of these side shots. Split door. Wow. So cool. Fucking lawyer. This is my call my lawyer. My fucking. Oh god, oh god. So it was just like the pot of the um, guns thing. I'll drop you off at home, grab some supplies, pack up the truck, and we'll drive north. No, I can't go anywhere. Yes, you can. No, I can't. If I left now, it'd be a huge red flag to the FBI, and they come after us. Okay, so as you can see, we're at the Camden County Sheriff's Department, which in real life is the Doraville Municipal Court in Doraville, Georgia. So they used it as the Camden County Sheriff's Department. There you can see Helen and, and uh, Marty approaching, and you can see the address. It's a real life... Uh, Address number 3765. You can still see it there in the art clip, the reenactment. Other than this clip, I forgot to take to get other footage while we were in the area. Here's another shot of me in front of the building, and there you can see the actual court sign. Snow Mountain, Georgia. The Missouri Bell. Right ahead of us. There's the front door, the front entrance. The boat's just behind those trees. We're gonna get a closer look. Okay, so these should be the characters parking spots from what I've seen others. Pictures, other fan pictures. Here we go. Reserved for head of security. Wendy Bird. Marty Bird. Wow. How cool is that? There it is in all its glory. The Missouri Bell sign. The entryway. Anyway, this is all you only use for the exterior. There's nothing that goes on inside. Um, they film the inside of the Missouri Bell on stage at Eagle Rock Studios. That's the doors. Pretty cool to be here. Some more. Some other parts of boats that are lined up with and dressed with show, the show's dressing. Okay, we can we can talk about all of this, but just not right now. Okay, another spot in Norcross is the Shell Station. It's Peach Tree Industrial Parkway with this Las Tortas Lucas Mexican restaurant, Mexican sandwich shop actually, attached to it. This is in the season one finale. Wendy and the kids are inside, hold up. The kids are eating, and Wendy's waiting to hear from Marty. 
find out his fate. What happened to him? Is he still alive? What's going on? She's waiting to hear from him. She calls Buddy on the phone. There's a conversation around here somewhere. She's on her, on her cell phone. And uh, she's wanting to see if he's heard from him. So the conversations down here, you can see some of the stuff in the background. The kids are inside eating. Which we're going we're to go inside and buy something, actually. Anyway, this happened right here. We're going to line some shots. So I think this might even be the shot of the exterior. Probably of the establishing shot. So that's it. Bathroom is for customers only. So you're good. Okay, what's it say? I don't know. <laughs> I don't either, but I, I have, uh, there, there's, 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 there's key words. The bathroom is exclusive for clients, clients, customers, it's just context. Yeah. Oh, what's that say? Um, please, wait. Oh, uh, something about, something about uh, washing hands, I believe. Yeah, washing your hands. So, the inside, Lost Torches, this would be the shot, hands over like that. There was a table there, you could see the kids eating there. There's not much else inside. So again, this is where the table would have been. Looks like they had, well, it could have been something the production brought in because there's no tables like that here. Trash can wasn't there. Table right here. Yeah, I was talking to the ladies here working here after ordering something, and they uh, didn't really seem to know. One, one person knew. She said, oh, yeah, about two or three years ago. Uh, but the other person was like, they didn't know. So I showed them the episode clip, and they're like, oh, oh writing down the episode and the season because they're going to go back and watch it at home. So they thought that was kind of cool. I was like, yeah, it's a good show. Watch it. It's really good. So that's kind of cool. All right, so I just lined it up. This is, this should be about where that establishing shot was filmed at. Camera crew would have been in this corner of the lot, shooting that way. And you can see it's really low. You can see these columns here. And there it is. Just at night. Here we are, this is where all the magic happens inside. Most of the interiors in the show for Ozark. All shot here at Eagle Rock Studios in Norcross. So it makes sense that they filmed a lot of the show in Norcross. Because this is the main hub, this is the home. Dynasty also shot. Here's another look on the other side. There you go. It'd be so cool to see Jason Bateman coming out. All right, next stop brings us to Decatur. This is about 10, 15 miles east of Atlanta. And this is Petty's mom's house. Barb Petty. So uh, there's a number of scenes filmed here, uh, if I remember correctly, at night. But if you know Barb Petty, she has a she's she's sick. She has a she has an addiction problem, and uh, Petty drops her off here a couple times. There's one memorable scene for, that I that that sticks with me is when um, she's climbing, I guess, back to the door. She falls uh, right here on the steps right here and the shot um, from this let's see from this angle got the shot right here kind of like that and you can see Petty and uh, I forget who's helping him uh, trying to get her back up on her feet so and there's another there's another scene I think uh, he drops her off or maybe it was oh, it's another location where he drops her off and uh, He has this feeling Something's going on. He goes back. It's, it's a trailer actually and she's getting she's getting a uh, shot up 
by her uh, dealer or one of her neighbors or something. So but this is it. Barb Petty's house, Decatur, Georgia. You can tell why they picked it. It's a corner house. Beautiful home. All right, continuing on in Decatur brings us to food value. This is where Wendy stops to get pistachio ice cream for Charlotte. There's one shot here. She parked probably about right there because it's, the, it's the, the next spot next to the last, the second handicap. You can see the handicap signs in the, in, in the background there. There's the sign, the food value sign. Shot would have been right here. Actually, it's probably lower than I have this vehicle in front of me, so I'm not gonna achieve that. This place is, uh, the lot, as you can see, it's a lot more full in real life than it is on the show, which is pretty typical. But that's it, no doubt. She comes out of her car and looks that way because there's a, uh, a cartel vehicle watching her, just like they were doing the same for Marty at the Dollar General. Okay, so the inside, the food value, right here, Wendy has a confrontation with the food value employee over pistachio ice cream. So she's trying to get pistachio ice cream for Charlotte because that's what Charlotte asked for. Do either of you want anything? Yeah. Maybe you could pick up some pistachio ice cream. Organic, please. Or, you know, this is this scene is just main, mainly to show the pressure and the uh, irritableness that, that Wendy's going through. Anyway, the scene's filmed right here. You can see that. Yeah. No, I'm not filming you. Uh, it's a, just a, it's the lights. Sir. Yes, sir. All right, as you can see, I had to cut my in interior inside video short because the employee that was right in my shot had, was, I don't think he understood what was going on and he was, I think that's what it was. He just understood, what, he, he didn't understand what we were doing and he didn't like me pointing the camera his direction. Even though it was above him, he didn't like that very much. So, um, I explained to him what I was doing. I wasn't filming him, I was just filming the, the freezers, but we couldn't get um, the shots that we wanted inside. So anyway, that happens sometimes, it's okay, no big deal. So we're outside, get the uh, rest of the exteriors. Here's the 360 view. It's that simple, it's just a food value store. It's nothing, I would never shop here. It doesn't really look like to be a very, uh, how do you say it? It's not my kind of neighborhood, I'll just say that. So anyway, Moving on. It's a great idea. She should get a place that has a sign up in the booth where I've seen this film. I need that. Yeah, the opposite end of the spectrum. In a quarter mile, turn right onto the I-20 West Ramp. Next stop in Atlanta brings us to Cheshire Motor Inn. This is the motel that Marty and Agent Miller, season three, episode five and six, you can see it where they stay and there's things that are happening. Um, I know Marty stayed in uh, 161, so I'm gonna take you in just a minute. You can see him when he comes out of the door. You can see the 161 on the door and then when he he meets with uh, Miller. It looks like he's meeting with her upstairs. Comes down and you can see that 151. He's coming down these steps right here. You can see these three windows are open. There's no shades there, no curtains. And then the camera pans to the left like that. Like there's maybe something, somebody's room is this. I'll correct myself later once I figure it out. But it's this area and then that door over there. All right, so on this side, this is where you can see Marty come out of his door here. And the shot is from this angle. It's kind of up close. And you can 
Let's see about right about that angle. Party comes out. He, he uh, fumbles with the keys here to lock the door, which in real life there is no key lock. Right there. At the time, the door was painted red, and you can see all of this in the background. Hey, Maya. And how ironic Good morning. is uh, this? There's a big O. Huh. Maybe that's why they chose this place. Who knows? One last thing to note across the street here is you can see that motel office signage and the reflection of those windows. Pretty cool. Moving on. In the heart of Atlanta, here we are at Silver Skillet. Used in many movies, including Anchorman 2 and Ozark. But we were here for Ozark. We're going inside, have lunch, and Agent Petty's and his mother, Bar Petty, inside at their table. Let's check it out. Okay, so we're inside the Silver Skillet where they filmed a number of films. Uh, they did Anchorman 2 right there, Ron Burgundy, that table. But we're here for Ozark, which was this table. We have um, Bar Petty, Petty's mom right there. Agent Petty, actually he was right here. And his boyfriend was right here. He comes in through that door. See him come through that door. He sits here. You basically have this shot here for a while. Holds on. And then there's a, a shot from over there, which we got from that corner. We got um, one of the staff to take a photo of us there. But this is pretty much, it's pretty cool to be inside here. It's very period. Period restaurant. The lights, everything about it. There's also a photo of Anchorman. Anchorman uh, cast back here. The staff is very nice. If you're ever in the Atlanta area, definitely stop and uh, get something to eat. So this next location brings us to, well, I mean, we're in Mexico in the show, but in real life, we're at the Westview Cemetery in Atlanta. And this was what stood in for Omo Navarro's mansion. But this is the angle that you see probably about right here where Helen Navarro walking down the steps, probably about the fifth or sixth step here. There's another shot. From here, it's kind of at an elevate, elevation here. Helen Navarro. And you can see those doors on the left. Another angle on this side, you can see the kids playing in what is like a yard. But these, these railings, successful railings weren't here at the time. None of this was here. Cause this obviously, you know, allows for public to, you know, view this. This is actually a ma mausoleum now, now that I think about it. You know, this is supposed to be residence. So none of this, would be in the shot so this was gone but this is the angle about right here because you see the sidewalk kind of like that you see the three walkthroughs here 
you see the cylinder circle and the kids would have been playing right in this little yard area kind of like that and then you also have the stairs in the background the scene that everybody remembers is the very final scene of season three in the finale marty and wendy were just flown into mexico with helen and nelson once they land they drive in this is Mar this is navarro's driveway they come in through here they park exactly where my uh rental is and you can tell because their tire is right where the crack is this uh the suv boom right there they get out of the truck nelson actually comes out behind he kind of goes that way out of frame you don't think anything of it then there's a cut and you've got navarro you know, hugging his wife and kid, telling them to go inside. He comes this way. And you've got this shot here. Coming to greet his guest. It's probably about right here. Can you see the two windows? Look right in the, the side frame there. And this crack. Right there. And the bar is there. And he, uh, he tells him welcome. Maybe had a nice trip, or whatever. And then here's the shot. They come out of the car. Helen, Wendy, Marty, all lined up here. And from the left side of the frame comes a bullet. You can see a gun come out <laughs> into frame. Boom. Helen's, Helen's wiped out. Blood splatter all over. Wendy and Marty, they're in shock. Close up on them. And then you've got the final shot, them three here, back of Navarro's head, Helen's wasted, Navarro hugs him, Wendy, Marty in total shock. That's all right here. We're gonna try to recreate. We lost a friend, he had to go back home, so it's gonna be me and Mary, and we're gonna see what we can do to create the shot. And that's it, this is uh, Owen Navarro's mansion, Westview Cemetery in real life, Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, this is like a driving location. This is gonna be the, the path that Marty and Wendy drove when they get to their accident in uh, season one, episode eight. You can see the mural on the left I'm about to pass. Right here. Okay, so this is the other direction, where this is where the the driver that caused the accident with the cigarette lighter, full of the cigarette lighter, this is the direction he was coming. This actually works out, because I was gonna get out and show, but you see this mural, Marty and Wendy come this way, and there's a shot right there. What do you think? I don't know. What do you think? I think there's trouble brewing. 
think we need to warn her. How's it look? Looks great. You see her? there like that? Mm -hmm. oh. Boom. here I am in Jonesboro the Wayfield Foods aka Werner Mart this is a parking lot that Wendy you know she kind of camps out here for a few days she gets a bottle of vodka she drinks it shows her time is passing she shows her using deodorant in the bathroom she's basically just like kind of spot uh, squatting out here in the lot so we're gonna go inside check it out Apparently the aisle that she gets the vodka is, looks exactly the same. It's filming a number of movies out here actually. Uh, I saw Stars of the Green, Gerard Butler, Natural Disaster film, pretty good. That was filmed out here as well. Actually, I think they used the, the, the original Wayfield Foods. So we're gonna go inside, check it out, see what it looks like today. Okay, we were just told that they closed in 10 minutes. So I'm gonna just show you really quick the aisle. This is the aisle that Wendy walks down to get her vodka. It would have been right in this area, right here. I don't see it. They don't carry vodka here. I think it's because this is the state of Georgia and they don't sell liquor. I picked up that they just sell a lot of wine in grocery stores and, cat and uh, uh, convenience stores. So, uh, no vodka though. So, just imagine Wendy coming toward me. Camera goes like that, stops there. This is where also where the kid, she goes to buy her second bottle of vodka, she puts it into her, starts putting it in her cart, and this kid approaches her from this angle, this direction, boom, and grabs her hand, 
he thinks it's he thinks she's his mom because her way he, she happens to be wearing the exact same outfit that his uh, mom is wearing. Who then comes around this corner and she's all frantic, looking for him. And it's kind of it kind of took me out of the scene a little bit because like they're wearing the exact wardrobe. I mean, like it's not really that realistic, but it's just a show. Another damn good one at that.